an inflammatory bowel disease researcher, and I'm going to go through some of the science behind some commonly used artificial sweeteners to determine if they're good or bad for our gut health. The first one's going to be sucralose, where animal studies are showing that long-term consumption can actually decrease the amount of beneficial gut bacteria present in our digestive system, which can lead to something called dysbiosis or dysregulation of our gut microbiome. It can also, long-term, it can also increase gut inflammation. The second is going to be, which this one's actually controversial, is going to be saccharin. And so animal studies are actually showing that it can alter the gut microbiome, leading to glucose intolerance and also reduced insulin sensitivity that might be linked to an increased risk of diabetes. This one is controversial though, so take it with a grain of salt. Next, I'm going to do stevia and monk fruit together, but these seem to be all right. There are studies showing that these can actually increase beneficial gut bacteria due to their prebiotic effects, so not bad. Next, I'm gonna go through aspartame, which is another controversial one, but I couldn't find much studies showing that aspartame has a direct effect on gut health. Uh, there isn't much publications on that, but aspartame is actually broken down in our gut into something called phenylalanine that does seem to affect our gut lining and can also lead to gut inflammation. So although aspartame may not directly have an effect, it's metabolites or what it's broken down into might. Last, I'm gonna go through allulose, which isn't really a artificial sweetener. It is more of a rare sugar but studies show that it might actually be used by our gut bacteria to produce things like short chain fatty acids. So it might be decent for us. There needs to be more research on this one, but so far it seems to be not bad. If you enjoy gut health content, please follow my page for more.